Hello everyone. Artex have very kindly sent me two new boxes of their brand new acrylic paint markers. I've got this set here which is a set of 30 acrylic markers and these are their pastel collection. Absolutely gorgeous. Just look at the colours of these. Can't wait to try these out. Um, just think that um, they look beautiful. So that's the first set. I've also got this set of 12 10 millimeter markers as well. So let's take the lid off this. Now these are their chubby markers and as you can see we've got five um, pastel shades, we've got five fluorescent colours and a white and a black. So let's take a look at these. Let's take a look at this set first. Um, which colour shall we start off with? Let's try this beautiful purple. Now this set here is very similar to a Posca paint um, pen in that it's got um, a ball bearing and to activate the pens to start off with you have to press down on the nib in the same way that you would with a Posca paint pen. Um, but let's have a look at the colours. Um, these first five here are um, pastel colours and they are absolutely gorgeous. Just look at the colour of that one there. Um, so that's the purple. Let me just... Um, just show you what these are like I have swatched them um, already but you know they're just really smooth not scratchy in any way and I just think these would be absolutely wonderful if you wanted to colour large areas at a time um, you could actually use them on the side if you wanted to do a finer line let's have a look at the at the pink just look how smooth that is and then finally we've just got this beautiful yellow um, vanilla color as well I've run out of um, space let's do it at the at the top here but you can just see how lovely um, that is as I've said I've swatched these out let me just move that um, over to one side so this is what the paints look like once they've been swatched onto white watercolour paper um, on the left that's just um, a single um, layer of paint in the same way that um, I've done here and on the right I don't know whether you can see but I've added um, a second coat of paint so um, on the left here with the pink one it's just one layer and on the right just two layers of paint the same with all of these they do have um, a kind of satin sheen they're not completely flat matte I don't know whether if I tilt it um, you can see but I really like these colours I've also swatched these out on craft cardstock as well now what you'll find with craft cardstock is that the colours have a tendency to sink um, into the paper rather than the paint sitting um, on the top but the colours are beautiful um, nonetheless the lemon and the white are the ones that are least opaque I would say and then let me show you what they look like on black now I've experimented with three um, different types of paper this one here is just regular black cardstock and you can see that some of the colours didn't show up very well um, at all. Um, with regular cardstock, again, it's very porous, so I found that the paint just sinked, um, sunk straight um, into the paper. Um, slightly more visible when I've given it um, a second coat of paint, especially with the stronger and the more fluorescent colours. I then did um, a regular piece of cardstock with um, a coat of clear gesso over the top and that's made a massive difference um, because of course now the paint is sitting on the top of the gesso rather than sinking in. And this here is a, um, a sheet of mixed media paper so the colours have a tendency to sit on the top rather than um, sink in. So again, much more. Before much I move more. on to the 30 set of paint pens, I just want to see how the white performs on top of these um, colours because that's a good indication as to how they're going to layer so I'm just going to go over with let's try this as well let's um, add some thicker layers just so that you can see um, what these look like layered on top of one another the paint's now dry and as you can see it's nice and opaque once it's layered on top of the other paint pens. I've tried it on all of the different papers that I've tried as well just so that you can see how, how it looks. I but know that you're all wondering whether it's waterproof or not so let's bring in um, a paint pen. Let's just add some water. Here we go and see if these paints are waterproof 
and you can see that they most definitely um, are these paints are not going anywhere now, let's take a look at these now some of you will remember that i reviewed this set here a few months ago so i want to compare the difference between this set here and this set um, there are quite a few fundamental um, differences but let's take a look at this set here first these are just absolutely gorgeous i love them um, so i've got a piece of watercolor paper here these are so smooth and so opaque um, beautiful to write with with um, you know you could do calligraphy with these I'm not very good at um, calligraphy but you know light on the up hard on the down so light on the up hard on the down so you could definitely do you know calligraphy um, painting with these but the colors are just uh, opaque and beautiful um, let's try one of the blues let's try the palest um, blue just look how opaque these are no scratchiness really smooth um, beautiful to work with now let me bring in um, this previous set here that I reviewed a few months ago and I'll tell you what the difference is between these let's choose um, two colors that um, are very similar so we've got these two purples here now this one is single-sided we've got this um, brush nib here as you can see beautiful paint pen whereas this one here is dual sided you've got a brush on one end and a fine tip on the other but the brush is much finer um, on the old set um, if let me just um, hold this in my hand just so that you can see the difference can you see the difference in the size um, of the the nibs color wise um, they're pretty much the same I would say that the new one is much more opaque absolutely beautiful so they've definitely um whoops wrong wrong lid they've definitely done some alterations i would say um to these um so beautiful beautiful um colors um also um that when i reviewed these i found these to be um waterproof quite waterproof a tiny bit um of smudging but nothing um major but i know that some of you had bought these complained saying that um you didn't find them to be um waterproof let me just um activate my my paint pen um of course you know i did this paint swatch um a long time ago but if i go over this I don't find um, any bleeding of colours um, whatsoever. So I think with these, you just have to let them dry and dry well. Um, and then um, they are permanent. And I'm applying a lot of water here and my colours are not smudging um, at all. Um, but, you know, I know that some of you have had um, problems with these. And I just think it's maybe the fact that you perhaps haven't um, allowed them to dry for long um, enough this is the swatch i've done of the new paint set let me just move these ones um, out of the way because um, i'm running out of um, space on my desk look at the swatches the colors are just vibrant absolutely beautiful beautifully opaque so that's on white watercolor paper i've also done it on craft cardstock and in comparison to the chubby set you can see that i think these are much more opaque this is just one one layer of paint um, as well so for instance i mean if we went over this one here this is the yellow with a with a second coat what would that look like and you can see that it's um much more opaque so you know i think these are really versatile and i think that you could have a lot um, of fun with these let's try um on black as well this is black mixed mixed media paper i think no i think this is just regular black um cardstock but you can see that you can really build up um, some depth of, of colour with these. Absolutely gorgeous. I love them. Let's test to see um, how waterproof these, these are. I'm not going to do those because, of course, I've only just added um, a second layer of paint. But let me just really squeeze out some water here. You can see the water and just see whether there is any bleeding on these. But I believe these to be totally, totally um, waterproof with no bleeding whatso, whatsoever. Let me, you can see, look at the water. I'm squeezing out loads of water here 
and there is no bleeding um, at all. As you can see, I've gone away and had a play around with these paint pens just to see how I feel about them. This was the first project um, I created. Um, the background was made using the chubby markers in a lilac and the purple, and I've blended those together. I'll share a video in the next couple of days showing how I made these. And then I've just gone over um, the, the background using some of the smaller paint pens and I've created my wildflowers. Just look how beautiful and opaque and vibrant these are. Absolutely gorgeous. You can see how beautifully um, the pens have layered as well. Just look at the details um, in the flowers. Absolutely um, love that. Um, this one here, um, I've used a blue and a green to create my gradient. Again, using the chubby markers and then I've used the slimmer um, pens to create my wildflowers. Love that. Um, isn't that fun? Um, then I had to go making a couple of plaid backgrounds as well. I've got no idea what I'm going to do with these. I love making plaid, especially with the festive season um, looming um, upon us as well. Um, but look at these. Um, it was so easy, so quick and easy to create these. And again, I'll share a video in the coming days um, showing how I made this. Um, there's another one as well. This one has got more green um, in it. Just absolutely beautiful. But I really enjoyed using these these pens. What are my thoughts using these pens? Um, I think they're absolutely beautiful. I love the colours. My only negative would be the white in the chubby set. I just wish that um, it was more opaque and, and vibrant. Um, having said that, the splatters that you can see here in the background were made using the chubby pen and all I did was pump it and I used a ruler just to um, splat um, over my background and you can see that um, the splatters are beautifully opaque. Um, so when it's layered over other colours, um, it's a really nice opaque white. Um, but you can see that when you use it um, on its own, that, um, you know, it's... Um, it, just isn't um, particularly vibrant. Um, so, you know, compared to a Posca paint pen, um, there is no comparison. Posca wins um, hands down. So if there was one message I would give to Artex, I would say do something with the pigmentation of the white paint pen. Um, otherwise, the colours are just absolutely gorgeous. Um, love all the pastel colours um, and these fluorescent ones as well. Great set. My favourite by far um, is this set here, the 30 set. I think the colours are just absolutely um, gorgeous. Um, I do wish that um, they had added the bullet nib um, onto these in the same way that they did with the previous set. Um, so this was the previous set that um, I reviewed and this was the uh, 32 set um, and you know as you saw at the beginning of the video this has got um, a, a slightly smaller brush nib um, and the bullet nib um, on the other end. Um, I wish that these had the bullet nib as well just because I find that um, absolutely wonderful for making dots um, and doodling um, but you know this is a gorgeous set. The colours are just amazing absolutely um, wonderful. So I will leave um, the link to both of these sets in the description box below for anybody who's interested. Um, just so that you are aware, um, for anybody in the UK, this set here is currently um, out of stock, but is due back in on the 16th of September. So it's Wednesday today. Um, this set is due back in stock um, on Friday, I do believe. So, you know, if you are interested in this, um, just be patient. You only need to wait for a couple of days um, and as I've said I'll be sharing another video in a couple of days time showing how I made these beautiful cards aren't they just gorgeous look how vibrant and opaque these colours are so I hope you enjoyed that um, as always if you did I'd really appreciate a thumbs up do let me know what you think in the comments below but most importantly thanks for watching take care everyone and I'll see you all again soon bye for now